one. So many people have been dragging actress Dasha Polanco. And the reason why they're dragging her is about the Emmys. Now the Emmys, you know, this year had a lot of black people uh, that won uh, Emmy awards, which a lot of black people do not win anything. Okay. So, you know, people like uh, Zendaya won, Regina King, uh, just to name a few. Well, it got kind of got started first with John Leguizamo. Now, if you know movies, you know who he is. He started something that I've been seeing a reoccurring theme here um, in Hollywood or just things in general like reparations, anything related to black people. But let's let's go down this road and talk about this. So John Leguizamo, when he starts seeing black actors and actresses winning, okay, he says, why can't we Latinx have a piece of the pie? We are the largest ethnic group in America and missing as if we didn't exist. Now let's, let's go through his tweet. What piece of the pie do you want? Why did you choose that time when black people were getting awards to say that? Why didn't you say that John, when white people constantly kept getting awards and over and over and over, you see that, but it's an issue when black people start getting awards and they're like, why is it? Why I'm not included? Because let's call it what it is. When John, when things happen in, uh, for you, we're not saying, hey, man, why black people aren't included? We don't get, say that. You guys have your own award shows. We don't be, want to be a part of that. We don't even ask to be a part of the Latin Grammy Awards. We don't ask to be a part of anything. I mean, hey, we like, that's your culture. Y'all should celebrate. And I'm good with that. But when it comes to us, we start hearing and seeing this Gina Rodriguez, another one that likes to be saying things like why I'm just asking a question here. So they had put up an article in the Los Angeles times that talked about, it said black nominees gain ground on Emmy 2020. It said Latino representation still abysmal. Now we don't control Hollywood at all as, as African-Americans, we don't control it whatsoever. Who controls it? You know who control Hollywood is not us at all. It doesn't look like us. It doesn't even look like you. Okay. I mean, we need to make sure to understand that is racism. White supremacy is the problem. Don't sit up there and say, well, why y'all including them? We ain't got nothing to do with it, but this is the main one that people been focusing on. Okay. So you had another actress named Selena's Leva. Okay. She said, we, well, we should start supporting each other and celebrating all our, all our Latinx community. Many of us do not. And I repeat, do not support each other. Let us unite. He said, make noise, demand change. Latinos in Hollywood stop the BS and unite. Yeah, I said it. So basically what she's saying is Latinos aren't even together in Hollywood. Then this is what people are dragging Dasha Polanco about. She said, if it's only us speaking on it, which means her community, no one cares. It's the silence from those that fight for equality, but only their equality. Diversity, but diverse enough to include thyself. That mentality of as long as I'm good, I don't see a damn thing. This is reading exactly. So let's break that down. So basically saying is, okay, we, we speak up, let's speak up, fine but nobody hears us. It's only when black people speak up and those who fight for equality, but only their equality. Well, let's call it what it is. Miss Dasha. Every time. And, and, and this has been so documented. I can go back to uh, Jesse Jackson. I can go back to minister Farrakhan. I can go back to Al uh, Sharpton. I can go back to a lot of different people that have always said Dasha included you and say black and brown, right? They've said black and brown, black and brown, black. but every time it was time politically to include your black brothers and your black sisters, you didn't do that. I'm not saying you Dasha, I'm saying your community. Okay. Didn't include your black brothers. You got sheriffs right there in, in California, um, be just as racist toward black folks as any kind of white supremacist. When you get in Congress, you look out for yourself. When you get in the Senate, you look out for yourself. You always look out for yourself. So how long do you think that black people is going to be the mules for everybody? 
we got to carry everybody on our shoulders. And then when it's time for us to be looked out for, everybody like, uh, <laughs> you know, so now black people are saying this, okay, cool. No problem. We got to fight. Cause we still fighting. We look at George Floyd, look at Breonna Taylor. You get what I'm saying? This is constantly happening to us. So yes, we do have a fight on our hands. Yes, we do. And we're going to continue to fight, you know, as much as we can and long as possible. I mean, you know, for me, it, you got to always say the rubber going to eventually have to meet the road. I mean, what are we doing? But, but that's, but this is not the channel, you know, to go into that conversation. But what I'm trying to say to uh, Dasha, when people was calling her out, say, wait a minute, Afro Latinos is winning. What are you talking about? Okay. Like Jarrell Jerome, the brother that played in, um, um, when they see us, he's a Dominican uh, descent, right? You know, the brother that played, uh, uh, you know, the part that, oh my God, that, that, that young brother played that part. Okay. Um, so it, it was, uh, what, what's the girl from, um, oh my God, <sighs> her name is, is making me blank right now, but you know, like Pete, it's a lot of people that was up there that won and they talked about Afro Latinos. Okay. And they wouldn't recognize because they look at Afro Latinos as black. So that's why, you know, when I see people, you know, who, especially some people that try to say, Oh no, no, I'm not black. I'm not black Negro. You got a big freaking wide nose, full lips and, and four C hair. And you sitting up here talking about you not black. Like, what are you? You know what I'm saying? But you know, like I said, I don't have time to deal with confusion. I don't, I don't try to convince confusion with no way, shape or form. Uh, on, on identity. Cause you know, we live in a time period where people saying their things that they're, they're not to anything. I'm not gonna go down that route in this video, but they didn't really say that is wins for Latinos because Afro Latinos were winning. So why wasn't that? That should be the question. Why isn't Afro Latinos considered Latinos and say that's part of your community. Now, when people start calling her out, on it, she says, guys, when I speak of those, is it that I speak of the people in the positions of power decision maker. I am such a huge supporter of inclusion. Yes. Finally, we're seeing change. That's the silver lining. And I celebrate it. Talk about it all the time, by the way, um, is where it needs to start. Okay. Now, now another person responds to her and says, why would those in power be fighting for equality? And don't play that game is that we were out there marching against ice, just like y'all were for BLM. And that part is true. They did have black people out there, uh, marching and, and saying things about DACA. I've seen it. They had black people out there about the children on the border. I've seen it. And about ice with the, uh, just rounding up, um, the Latino community who's not doing anything, just going to work. I've seen it. Okay. I've seen it. So they said, speak out for your community without putting down ours. Say, hell, a, a large chunk of us are your community, whether you recognize it or not. That's true. There's a lot of people within the uh, quote unquote Latino community who are Afro Latino. And hell, if you do the research, a lot of them and how they even add mixture come from is Africans too. So like she said, a win for our community is a win for your community, et cetera. But when you allow yourself to separate yourself from different things, that's fine. Okay. Uh, another person says, so explain, do you mean that black people recognition this year is too much and Latinos should get those spots or that colorism slash anti LGBTQ aren't issues. Um, it's frustrating that so many have crabs and a barrel attitude fighting for one spot as opposed to inclusion. Now she responds, of course not to my Dasha and said, I'm very proud and happy for it. They always is the other side of the awards. It's a great example. Ava, um, she said she made the right decisions and create opportunities for us all. Right? So when she started getting called out and I've seen this girl in many, many films, when she started getting called out, she said, Oh no, nah, I'm not saying that cause she, she don't want that smoke. She don't want it because it's, but it's, it's too much, um, out there to show that the black community has always, always, always included and supported the Latino community. We have even to our own faults. We have done it. 
So nobody could, could say we haven't included, we don't celebrate, but why is it you respond when you see Afro Latinos winning and say, Hey man, that's the Latino community right there. You didn't say that at first, John Leguizamo, another one. Why he didn't say that. Hey man, my, man, that's Latinos winning right there. You get what I'm saying? No, man. Y'all, y'all listen in this day and time, everybody getting called to the carpet. You know, you, I know in the Latino community, you got the colorism thing. I know, I know, I know colorism is just as bad in the Latino community as it is in the black community. And matter of fact, I don't even want to say that it's worse in the Latino community because even if quote unquote Latinos themselves, if they darker, if they darker indigenous, they call them all kind of nasty names. They do do the research into that. Amara Lenegra even talked about that. Okay. Black folks. Yes, we do have our colorism, but it's not to that level. It's not, I'm telling you, it's not. If you are the lighter skin, white looking Hispanics, you're treated like gold. If you're the darker skin ones, you treat it like trash. And we talked about that a little extensively on our uh, podcast one day, uh, the Phil Scott, all your experience, you ever ch had a chance to check it out. But Dasha, you know, you, you let you, you letting Gina Rodriguez come out. You just letting it look, you need to just take your wins take your losses. You didn't address the powers that be you address black people. That's what got people to say something. He said nothing about the powers that be. So don't say, try to say the powers that be did it. No, 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 no. Basically what you saying is why aren't y'all black people speaking up about this? But when we say nothing, nobody cares. I can't speak on that. Only thing I can say is we got Breonna Taylor to look out for right now. We have George Floyd to look out for and the many other people who need justice to look out for. We don't really have time to be fighting about some award show that black people don't own, all Latinos don't own. But leave me a comment, let me know think about the situation with Dasha Polanco and all her, you know, getting her feelings. But hey, you know, it's, it's, we got more important things to be fighting for at this moment in time. And we don't care about award shows at this point.